trust anyone what 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 don't trust stay strong don't go wrong think twice a ah, stunning rendition of O Canada there as the players get ready. Well, it'll be about making some uh, plays in the middle with the strikers. Uh, he'll line up in uh, Winnipeg is actually moving one player, Kalen uh, Boudou, who are guys from Winnipeg that have made their way overseas. He was once trialing with Liverpool and a part of a group of many players from Winnipeg that made, made the trip. Uh, Dylan Carrero, a former member uh, of our academy, was with Queen's Park Rangers in their time in the Premier League. Constant appearances at the National Contest. Desiree Scott, a women's national right, team player, played for them as well. And as we've seen uh, early in this few minutes, some good build-up for Thunder Bay as they've already picked out Sullivan Silva with an opportunity. I thought he would, might have been offside, but gets a goal kick nonetheless and a, and a good look there for Thunder Bay. Is that's what they'll do. They'll try and get over the top. Silva's big, he's fast, and he can make something happen. Uh, where Chill seem to be in control. Yeah, Jean Philippe, uh, the, the use of the local players sometimes means tougher to, to, to pull out some victories against a team like Thunder Bay, or if we look at their starting lineup, have two players that played pro in Italy, a guy that played professionally in Germany, and I mentioned the Brazilian Sullivan Silva a few times. But it's a really a positive, is the, the spin they try to take on it, because they're giving guys from Winnipeg a little bit of a core kick here. Uh, is this something that the Chill are known to be successful with in the past? Got a lot of numbers in the front, a lot of size, and that's one of the challenges is Kevin Garrick doing a nice job to get up for that in the follow-up. That's an uphill battle. So that we can, we can get the season going in, in April. If you're playing on grass, you're probably waiting until right about now to get most of the fields ready. So Campanos over two. A nice little one touch from Sullivan Silva, his teammate not yeah. able to do much with it. and Bad throw on it, that's it. Luis Melendez, Luis Melendez uh, not able to do much with that ball and yeah. a chance for Thunder Bay on the other hand. Berube disgusted with his uh, his effort there, but um, now into the defensive position. Uh, that's a good cross and, and there he is. There's Sullivan Silva doing what he can. Gets position in the top of the box right at that six and Winnipeg just couldn't handle him. Gets up, puts it over top of Evan Barker and that's one of those all he can do is react and hope for the best. He, was in the right position, but Silva beats him. There he is again. Shortly after uh, being on the field, now facing some nice press over. It's a great low ball by Silva, and a one that Evan Barker might might want back as it slides into that far post. A beautiful feed and finds Sergio Campano. Side puts that one across, and quickly, just like that in a span of four minutes, Thunder Bay is Jean-Philippe. Some positives from Winnipeg, and more positives for Thunder Bay, obviously, but some nice plays here by Rafa Hinn and Thunder Bay in their element here, too. Just some nice little touches, not yeah. spending too much time with the ball, finding that loose man, right and that's the goal scorer there, Campano, who's back in his own half now, making some plays, moving the ball around. They'll move out of the back. They're not going to change their approach. It's not a team that... that there comes Silva one more time. There comes Silva. He's going to try this once, once more. Plays it forward. Offside call. Yeah, offside. Campano is definitely offside. The nice little one touch from Silva. And that's what we'll see too. We saw that on the Campano, on the Campano goal is that the team is the Winnipeg, that team I'm trying to refer to. Uh, Keen forward. Heath directing traffic there. By Heath. They yeah, probably want to put that around the Thunder Bay defender, ends up hitting him. Good run from Will Brown trying to get himself open, just that final pass isn't there. And as we've seen a few times. Stretch pass here and an opportunity. Playing it right through the penalty box. A yeah, good little cross, just uh, nobody on the other end. Dial it in from distance, a midfield that had four goals last season to tie Moses Ganto for the lead. And we'll see if he uh, has another one of those left in him. <laughs> what a shot and a nice save from Mozinski. Definitely got the leg strength, that's for sure. So probably another minute or so, a chance for the first game. But, uh, Took possession, found some holes, and obviously Sullivan Silva makes his impact off. 
a chance for Thunder Bay to move things out. They'll want to add to their lead. Winnipeg will want to maybe just get through these first five minutes and, and feel where they're at and try and make something happen. No substitutes. Sometimes uh, they like to shake things up at halftime, but the, they'll go with the group that got them here in this first half. Right into the hands of the keepers. He was in. Nice ball from Ohin, but uh, <laughs> goalkeeper there, Master Masinski, makes it look pretty uh, pretty easy. Do nothing here. And, Winnipeg will have to get back as they play both their central defenders, Shelly Danji and Kevin Garrick, the tallest players in the field, trying to get in on, on that corner, so they'll have to track back and up from the midfield to, to fill a few holes here. Second time, Ohin struggling with uh, getting He's playing just outside the 18 yard mark there. All that ball's bouncing around the six, and I think it was Hooper was able to just tow it out. That's a long touch on it. Nice block by Cello Danji to get in front of that. Absolutely. Jump and uh, chasing that college uh, scholarships as well. That it doesn't hurt as, uh, as an incentive to make the trip and get the education and play some decent. It, it was, as you mentioned in the first half, just, just two errors resulted in goals and another opportunity offensively here for Thunder Bay as Winnipeg turns it over in their own third. That's a nice shot by Kim Panel. I'm not sure if Barker got a hand on that. I think Barker got a hand on that. Absolutely, he did. It's a nice save, and he'll. And he plays forward. These guys don't hang onto the ball very long. Not at all as they move closer and closer. Good touches there from Sergio Campano, able to chip one over a Evan Barube tackle. A nice recovery for Cello to just kick that thing out, get a throw in. Chance for a reset, and we've seen a few times here Winnipeg's midfielders like Josh Sanga and dropping really deep, playing just in front of that back line, almost five defenders. And Thunder Bay not able to break through, so it's easy to see Winnipeg's approach, just weather that storm in the second half and, and take those counterattacks when they show up. Communication between him and Hoxa. Yeah, Hoxa started making the run to the corner. Prince trying to find him in the middle, just doesn't work out. And Chance for Thunder Bay on the counter. Roly playing it smartly there. Yeah, Sergio Campano been fantastic in possession today for Thunder Bay. A goal from the midfield so far. And we say how Ohin. And Swinger kicked and headed away by a little bit of discomfort, but rejoins the match regardless. Aggressive play there. Yeah, Pinsamar has to jump up there. They're down. They need to get that ball back. And this cross left it away and back to the other. Nice play. Really good for giving chase there. A bit of desperation in his game right now. Next stoppage in play. Beautiful Played shot. In. Fingertips from Barker in the, on the follow up. Wow, a good chance for Thunder Bay and a nice save by Evan Barker to get a fingertip. Yeah, it's all Danji pushing up the center back and. Last kick at the can there for that one. And with that, we're set to play ball. Players uh, quickly shake hands before this uh, thing up, but uh, just couldn't get it on net, so. He'll have some more opportunities, gets the start, uh, and a well-earned one after. It's kind of a little bit of a line mate with Silva, who they, they play off of each other a little bit. He'll be going at, uh, with some, well, obviously he's familiar with his teammates, but uh, probably the most amount of chemistry with Silva. Uh, on, their, on their feet. Keith now with a, with a throw in, and uh, I, honestly, I, th I gotta think that if you're, uh, if you're Winnipeg uh, coming in, yes, uh, coming after yesterday's game, watching a little bit of game film, you'd understand that uh, um, you're able to basically keep pace, Throughout the game and, uh, and actually make some pretty special things happen despite those two errors. It was uh, the last night's game. Yeah, we'll see how the half goes on because they, yeah, they've been playing that high pressure, high tempo game, trying to keep the chill on their toes and making it difficult for them. And so you, you see what Kalen Boot is doing there, just trying to not give his man there, uh, Campano, any space. 
and that's what will happen, but we'll wait. So we hit it all the way. Rob Gale and Eduardo Badescu had a, had a large part in that. Absolutely, a great feeder system in PDL as uh, the chill looks to advance the ball here deep into the penalty area. Come up, yeah. I'm sure they'll uh, be missing us when the chill are, are playing elsewhere. Uh, we have to get well, they'll, more, be missing, uh, they'll be missing the feed. They'll, the they'll feed, be, yeah. yeah. Maybe not us, but they'll be missing watching. Absolutely, <laughs> I agree with that. I'm getting a few text messages from the guys to know how they're doing, and that's uh, the best you can do if you don't make the trip. So we're able to watch their games against Cobb Valley in Chicago. Oh, he was trying to play one off the outside for Sangha. Doesn't get there. Kalen Boudou's taken out. No call. Making his way forward all the way from the backhand here is uh, Pedro Adam. Pedro Adam over to Campano. Dropping back except Bikus and Pogta. Campano gets around Will Brown. That tackle's hard and it's late. And he could go in the referee's book for this one. I think he's going he's to get going a yellow. To, yeah, he's going to towards Evan Barker so far, but uh, that, that those wins may change just in a few moments notice here. Yeah, they're looking for that back post run on the sure, in that chill zone and that chill box, and it's exciting for Winnipeg. This is what Thunder Bay likes to do. They'll get over top and, and beat Winnipeg with their speed and their size. And Stretch the field a little So bit. far, though, they haven't really had an answer for Winnipeg. Shallow with a nice defensive effort there. Definitely would be a blow to the Winnipeg lineup. Speaking of those valuable subs, uh, absolutely they do, and uh, throughout this game will be very strong as, of course, the chill come nice and close. Nice turn off the pulse and finished and off. He's on side, and the chill take advantage of a little bit of a breakdown for Winnipeg, and we talked about being mistaken. <laughs> Team and unfortunate to see him uh, bow out in the first half of an injury, but uh, hopefully he'll be all good for the rest of the season. Uh, these two teams will actually play each other in Thunder Bay in a couple weeks, so uh, we'll likely see him back on the field in this one. And uh, I, th I think that uh, if, if you're if you're the chill, you went in at half and uh, maybe got a little bit earful. <laughs> Yeah, potentially. Giovanni Petraglia had uh, a little bit of a blow to their lineup, but for the most part, uh, some success so far. A little frustration um, there from, from Raph O'Hin pushing his, uh, his man down. He was able to split through both players on the Thunder Bay side, and uh, one of them was kind of grabbing on his on counter. Kasonga obviously in for Amara, who started this game and uh, had to relieve himself due to injury. Hopefully he'll be able to uh, rejoin the lineup in, uh, in only a couple games time. Yeah, it's a quick turnaround. Uh, Winnipeg gets a few days off finally, uh, much to, uh, he, he's got the ability to do so. He needs to do that a little bit more, I think. Yeah, a lot of work uh, for the outside backs for Winnipeg and put in a lot of miles. We've seen Tobias Hyra Kruger with the best look at goal and he's mm -hmm. played here in, in Manitoba. Something that uh, you're quite passionate about. Yeah, it's always, uh, it's it's always good being a soccer guy. A beautiful free kick there by Thunder Bay that just goes off the outside of the netting that was really flirting with goal, I like the the in swing beautiful kick cross here by Kalen Very nice cross. Good job there by Matthew Mazinski. Makes it look uh, really elementary. Just comes out and makes that claim. Looking Looks for the back post. And, uh, I think it was Tobias Hyra Kruger just couldn't get onto it. Uh, good ball there from Voodoo. Some good movement. Another good opportunity for Winnipeg. Now. Haven't seen a substitution yet in this uh, second half. Getting towards the hour mark. A chance uh, on goal. Campano shot blocked by Barker. The follow-up also blocked but rolls into the net. And Evan Barker coughs up a rebound. The Thunder Bay chill add to their advantage. It's now 2-0. But Campano, who was able to uh, convert on that one. Are we having a word with a few members of the coaching staff for, for Winnipeg there? Stopping play to leave the field and give them a little bit of a talking to. Instead, they'll go backwards, saying as a long ball for Tobias Hyrick Kruger doesn't get Off there. The Opportunity for the chill to, to counter the other way. Compano with it now. Looking to reestablish possession here. That switch ball by Thunder Bay. He just looks for that long distance opportunity. So Don will come in, Sangha comes out. We'll see what that means for the for the strategy here for Winnipeg as a 
They'll play two strikers up top. The lead up 2-0 in the 78th minute. He plays it down. Ball comes across. Campano will take a crack at goal. Easy save there for Evan Barker. Campano shoots it straight at him. Been active in the, in the sport of soccer for about two days now. So uh, I appreciate all, uh, all all those who are uh, enjoying the broadcast too for being patient with me and as well you being patient with soccer, the highest available currently in Winnipeg. Yeah, it's, it's the top amateur league in North America, feeder system for the United Soccer Leagues, uh, the lowest level of professional soccer and also major league soccer, almost 200 MLS players. Yeah, offensive talent, if I remember watching them play last season, and it opens up some doors for some of these players. So we've seen a few of our uh, players here in Winnipeg move on out of the, the PDL system and uh, always happy to see players graduate and continue the next step in their soccer career and with a pro league coming uh, in Canada next Wonder season. what kind of game we would have had if that opener by uh, Kapaga doesn't end up finding its way into the net and that's the way she'll finish unfortunately. 2-0, some solid play, few opportunities offensively but Thunder Bay Chill with a lot of class, a uh, very talented group and it's uh, the way it finishes with the 2-0 victory.